So day two of hard reclamation. Right, this is a toaster. As you may well be able to see. It has cord. Hold on. It has cord. Oh, we want in that. It's also got the same brass plug, which uh, there's an issue with, so I'll address that within a second. But, well, not within a second, but in the next couple of seconds. Anyway, this is a uh, no name bloody toaster with security screws on it. Okay, let's deal with that bit first. Yeah, beware when you turn these things over, they usually are full of crumbs, burnt Mr. Toast, whatever else. Whatever the, the the donor of this is children shoved in it to kill it, to make it dead. Anyway, so this I've checked it, hit it, made sure there's nothing in it. As you might notice, my workbench does have holes in it. So it wouldn't be conducive to a clean floor, would it? Anyway, security screws, let's see if we can get that in focus. There you go. Anyway, evil little buggers. Because uh, that, that tool set I had doesn't seem to have those in. So, no name comes up with a new way of bloody uh, pissing you off with security screws. Uh, yeah, uh, this is dirty. Okay? Dirty, dirty, dirty. This is not, has never been plugged in in my home. <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> it's dirty, but I, I don't want you thinking that I'll live that kind of dirty way. Anyhow, so I found a way of uh, disposing of these. Uh, so, hold on two seconds. Sorry for the low levels of light around here, but it is snowing. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, just get one of these. Usually, the little, the little flathead added extras will be in between your two sizes of uh, screwdriver. Now I don't seem to have a size of screwdriver that would fit on one of the flat sides of that triangle. But I have noticed that the screws are cast in such a way that there is always a little lip about there and there so what we do is you just force the screwdriver in now turn it flat put your weight on it make sure there's nothing underneath it like your thigh or anything like that see I'm learning kids uh, push down hard and it should unscrew hold on let's see if we can set that up for you so as you see I've just kind of pushed the screwdriver edge into where the two seams are just busting the seams but pressing down quite hard. Oh, so you're doing this one handed. So you see the seam there? Yeah? So now you just turn and undo them. The seam at each corner. So that's how I'm going to undo all four of them. And of course, I want to get just as much cord from there as I possibly can. Which probably means undoing them at some point. Well, let's see what's in this puppy. La 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 dancing. Oh, braids! Anyway, <coughs> on reflection, oh god, yeah, that's the plastic cover there for the cable in. <coughs> on reflection, this is not stainless. It's uh, magnetic, and well, it's full of stains. <laughs> I'll see if we can take it off. Oh, these are actually little bastards. Got three of them out so far. Yeah, you see the plunger? Whoop, there we go. It's absolutely welded <laughs> onto the stick that goes, rides up and down on the track. That's the end of the track, so easiest way to do it is just snip this piece of very thin steel here and pull the end of the track out and the whole thing should come back. Or as luck would have it, just bend it. <laughs> there you go. Then just reach in and cut the earth. Or unscrew it. That's a Phillips head, so I'm going to unscrew it. That did not come easy. Sheesh. So if you're into steel, all that steel, thin, very, very light, cheap steel, uh, do, as it, do with it as you will. In here we've got a little copper, some brass fittings, and the maximum amount of wire we could get out of it. So, snip, 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 pull it all apart, we'll move on to the cable. Hey, hey. Oh, talk about simple circuits. <laughs> So as I say, copper in there, and there, brass fitments there, just rip them all off, rest can go a la bin. So that's the brass and the copper from the little transformer, i say that's number one because it's bright, it's clean, it's got no coating, uh, if it was found to have a coating it would probably be jam or butter or something like that, being out of a toaster, but um, yeah, onto the cable. 
See how these holes are useful? So I want to put your screws. Anyway, right, so we've got the cable. So, you just undid it. This brass connector is on there, there, and there. You can snip them off, put them in your brass pile. Um, this is three core. Again, due to the length of it, I'll probably not bother stripping that to be honest, because there's more weight in the actual uh, coating. But uh, onto the plug. So, you've all seen me take these plugs apart. Well, we've had a, a letter in here from uh, Mikey George. Oh, we got that right, mate. Anyway, these uh, little bits of black plastic, his uh, scrapyard won't take them. Now, I've never tried because I do always clean mine. But I do find the easiest way to do it is just with these cutters. Just snip quite on the deep that side, and it should take most of the plastic off. And if you hold and twist, say, these pair of pliers to hold these, hold and twist, they should come off as one uh, sheet there. So there's that in close up, just snip down the side, see the edge there where I've just caught the brass, snip down the side, and it should, oh, I'm doing this one handed, I need my finger, there we go. <laughs> this is ridiculously difficult one handed. Right. Left handed as well. There you go, so what? Just pushing it off. There you go, see? Oh, nice. You can actually see the line where I bow down a little bit too hard with the snits. Well, it's two seconds, but yeah, it's totally uh, brass there. After a while, should be no problems. Same with that one. Same with this plug. Anyway, call it a day.